Hi, I'm Diana DeRosa, and I'm speaking with John Badalamenti, who lives in Arizona and was the producer and director of photography of the full-length equestrian documentary, Horse Heroes. Great film and two good causes, preservation and health and healing. Um, so tell me why you decided to take on this topic. Well, I had started with the, I uh, did some um, promo work for the uh, Clydesdales, um, USA Clydesdale Preservation Foundation. It was it was um, pro bono work. I figured I, I had done real estate photography, videography, drone for quite a number of years, and I started getting tired. You can't really talk to a couch. So... <laughs> <laughs> so I, I volunteered and I, I took a liking to the horses and the whole operation. And I did several things for them. And I said, well, there's something unique about these horses, about horses in general. I grew up in New York City, had no idea uh, really about horses. And I said, woke up one day, I said, I have to do a documentary about horses. And I contacted uh, the Clydesdale. I said, yeah, great, John, great. I did a lot of research. I found another group that was interested at Camelot in Scottsdale who do equine therapy. And by chance, a woman who was working at the Clydesdales also does yoga. She's a yoga, what they call yoga with the Clydesdales. I said, how, how is that possible? Well, but they do it. <laughs> so she wanted to be in the film. And I said, well, what do you want to do? She says, I'd like to shoot it. I says, okay, but she's a professional photographer. So I spent some time with her to learn the equipment and she was our cinematographer. So then we found a woman by the name of Dr. Kerry Brandt off who did a PhD dissertation on the human horse interaction, contacted her and she says, yeah, I'll be in the film, interview me. And I interrolled her in the film about her perspective about horses and how over time now, these women have done great things with horse human interactions. And so that's how the film came to be and progressed. Well, well done. Thank you. You know, I know from experience that no matter what you do, whether you're acting in it or you're producing or you're directing, it takes a very long time. And, you know, then it ends. But you always have things that you remember that really sort of stick with you. What are those things for you? Well, there was a lot. Um, there's a lot of <laughs> a lot of things, like a two two thousand pound Clydesdale or running across the field coming at me. I, I want people to see. And I was shooting. I said, "Do I get out of the way or stand still? What do I do?" Uh, you know, a beautiful, uh, just gentle giants. But there's one there's a couple of different scenes where I, I physically and um, the woman who I'm talking about, uh, Jessica Maxwell, a cinematographer, actually had to hold back tears shooting a lot of the uh, equine therapy one scene in particular there was a woman who was losing her eyesight young lady by macular degeneration and she was in a wheelchair and talking about her experience and how life had changed because of losing her eyesight and and we were all starting to ball and i said i, I was doing the interview how can we continue so we did but the actual interview was heartbreaking. But then she got into how the horses and the therapy has helped it helped her is changing her life and making life bearable and to continue to move on with her life. And these are the these are the things that I we wanted to portray in the film so that people get a sense of how these horses are helping people and how the women and especially these women who are doing great works to help the horses and help people. Wow. Yeah. I mean, that's, I remember one of the interviews that you did and the woman was expressing what a wonderful thing that does for her. And, and I know that so many people are helped by this. Okay. But I want to know a little bit about your takeaway now with horses. Do you know a little bit more? Have you gotten on a couple, you know, what's, what is it with these horses now for you? Well, I, I had no idea about what hands meant. Uh, <laughs> what, what does, I talk about, there's so many hands. What, what does that mean? What, what, <laughs> Not hands, we're Italian, what hands? So um, the measure of a horse, you know, 10 hands, 14 hands, a Clydesdale might be 14 hands or, uh, you know, another breed might be 10. Uh, I didn't, wasn't aware of all the various horse breeds um, and, and everything like that. You know, in Clydesdales, I didn't realize that they're, uh, they're a threatened species. Uh, it's 5,000 worldwide compared to the quarter horse where there are thousands and thousands and thousands. 
And there's so many different attributes. The reason why you get on the left side of a horse is because years ago, the soldiers had their swords on the right side. I, I didn't know that. And in my research, I found that out. So so many different things I didn't know. I really didn't know. Uh, I learned so much in the research. In one quick, quick example was I had no idea in World War I, of course, they used mustard gas, gases which were horrible. But they had to put masks on horses. Uh, I didn't know that. You know, imagine that, putting a mask on a horse and horses having to deal with the mask. So, uh, this is, so all these different things I learned through research and doing the documentary that I would not have known. That's great. And actually, one of my friends had one of those masks that said it was actually a Japanese mask for a horse wow. that was, was in the war. So, yeah, I can relate to that. So, John, I want to thank you for chatting with me. Do you have any last words you'd like to say? I'm so grateful for this opportunity, Diana, and I'm grateful for having the opportunity to do the film. And I just hope that, you know, that people get something out of it. That's all we wish. Um, it was a joy doing it and hopefully uh, for years to come. Yeah, absolutely. I'm sure they're going to have some really good takeaways. So thank you for doing it. And I'm Diana DeRose reporting for the Equus Film and Arts Fest 2021 and the Equus Television Network. And thank you, John, for chatting with me. Thank you, Diana. Thank you very much.